Hi, this is Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. Today I'm going to show you just how easy it can be to make arch top and cathedral top raised panel doors like this one using our frame and panel master jigs and templates. We have two different frame and panel masters to choose from, our standard frame and panel master and our heavy duty frame and panel master. Let's take a closer look at each of these so you can see the differences in the two setups. This is the standard frame and panel master and it consists of one jig that will make both the panel portion and the top rail portion of your door and it, you also have a choice of a set of templates either for arch tops or cathedral tops which these are the cathedral so you can choose between which profile you would like for your cabinet doors. Each set of templates comes with all the templates necessary to make doors ranging from roughly 8 inches wide all the way up to 22 inches wide so you can make doors to fit almost any application and you're going to get all the templates you need to do so. The templates themselves are a nice 3 8 inch thick phenolic so it's a nice durable material and the jig itself is a heavy phenolic it's going to give you everything you need to make those doors and it's very easy to set up and use. I'm actually going to use this setup to show you how I make doors here in my shop in just a few minutes. We also have attached the optional toggle clamps so you can very easily set up your material when you're using this jig. This is the heavy duty frame and panel master and as you can see you get two different jigs with this setup one for holding the rail specifically and one for holding the panel specifically so you don't have to switch back and forth with your jig. You can also have two people using this setup at the same time which is great in a production environment. The jigs themselves are a heavy phenolic base with an extruded aluminum T-track system which makes making adjustments to these jigs very easy. The heavy duty frame and panel master also comes with a set of toggle hold down clamps for both jigs as standard. The templates themselves for the heavy duty frame and panel master are different. They're a three quarter inch Baltic birch plywood template and again they're available in either an arch top profile or a cathedral top profile. So you can choose which profile you want for your projects or you can buy both sets and have them readily available. The nice thing about the frame, heavy duty frame and panel master is it's compatible with both the router table and the shaper table. So if you have a shaper table that you'd like to make your cabinet doors on, this is the set for you. Let's go ahead and I'll break down just how easy it is to make a door using this system. The most common question I get on how to make an arch top or a cathedral top door is how do I size my pieces appropriately? and the answer is you do everything the same as you would for a standard rectangular raised panel door. I like to use a two and a quarter inch style and bottom rail and with my template I need a four inch top rail. Now with the frame and panel master that four inch top rail is going to give me a, at the peak of the panel my rail will be two and a quarter inches so it's exactly the same as my styles and my bottom rail. Now that I know that I can go ahead and size my panel as if I were making a rectangular shaped panel for my door. I know that I need the width to fit my grooves just like I'd, I would figure for any standard door and I know that my height needs to be the same as for any standard door because the peak of that panel needs to be that height. Once I have all the pieces for my door cut to size, I'm ready to lay out the profile for the top of the door and the top rail. I go ahead and take my panel, I mount it in my frame and panel master, and I've also marked a center line on my panel, as well as the final height of my panel. I've went ahead and left a little extra material at the top, and I've marked a line. I know how tall my panel needs to be, and that's just gonna give me a place to be able to, to align my template to. There's a little notch in the back of each one of the templates for alignment so you can make sure that the template is centered in your panel. It's very important and that's why I have that center line marked on my panel. So I've mounted everything in the frame and panel master. I've got it all clamped up. It's nice and 
secure, it's square and straight, and my center line is lined up appropriately. Now all I have to do is mark the profile. When choosing which template I need to use, I know that my panel's 10 inches wide because I've figured out how large my door needs to be, and I can choose the appropriate template. Each template is marked with a size range in inches. This one is for panels from 10 to 11 inches wide. That's the final width of the panel itself, not the overall width of the door. So I know my panel needs to be 10 inches wide, so I'm gonna use the template that is for making panels from 10 to 11 inches wide and the corresponding top rail template. I would go ahead to mark the top rail. I would do the exact same thing. I would mount it up in the frame and panel master, make sure to mark my center line, get my template centered appropriately, and then I can go ahead and mark out the profile of the material that I need to remove from the top rail as well. I'm gonna go ahead and cut away the waste on my bandsaw, and then we can come back and we'll be ready to go to the router table and make ourselves a door. Okay, I've gone ahead and bandsawed the waste away from my panel and the top rail of my frame, and I've reinstalled my panel back into the frame and panel master with the template, clamped everything in place, and I've installed a flush trim bit in my router table. I'm gonna go ahead and follow my template and simply flush trim my panel to final size. I'm gonna, after I do that, I'm gonna do the same thing with the top rail of the frame. I've gone ahead and set up the coping bit of my rail and style set in my router table and I've mounted my top rail to in my coping sled so I'm ready to go ahead and make the coping cuts in both the top rail and the bottom rail. Okay, now for the fun part. I've gone ahead and mounted my top rail back in the frame and panel master, put the template in place, made sure everything was lined up, just as it was when I flush trimmed the profile into my top rail. I've also gone ahead and put the sticking or style bit of my rail and style set in my router table and I've set the height accordingly. I'm going to go ahead and run the top rail profile, then I'm going to go ahead and lower the bit and run the rest of my rail and style pieces just like I would for a normal frame and panel door. All the pieces for our frame are finished. I've gone ahead and just dry fit everything together. Everything looks like it's fitting really well. We've cut all the pieces of the frame and so we can set this aside. It's finished and get to work on our panel. Now we've already cut the profile using the flush trim bit in our router on the panel itself so it's to final size. Now we need to go ahead and simply raise the panel. The way we're gonna do that is I've installed a start pin in my router table, and we have a bearing on the top of our panel raising bit. We're gonna use that start pin and work our panel into the bit until we make contact with the bearing, and then we're gonna go ahead and route our panel. I'm gonna take my time, make two or three passes with this bit. It removes a lot of material, and once I have my panel raised, We'll put the door together and see how it looks. All right, we've got our panel finished here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this door together and we'll see how it looks. Here's our finished door, it turned out perfectly.
If you've always wanted to make arch top or cathedral top doors like this one, I suggest you take a look at our standard frame and panel master or heavy duty frame and panel masters. They're going to give you the ability to make beautiful arch top or cathedral top doors like these quickly, easily, and accurately.